Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll take a look at mirror pricing. If you want to upgrade your plan, you've come to the perfect video. Make sure to watch this video till the very end so you won't make any mistakes. We'll compare them according to their features, prices, and is it suitable as for you to use Miro? So you can easily try to use it for free. As you can see, we have like four plans and one of them is free. We also have a starter, business and enterprise. The biggest difference is in number of like people who can use the platform. So for starter and business, we only have like one person enabled. And basically for enterprise, we have like starting from like 30 members. Of course, we can add them to business and to starter also, but you need to figure it out. So how many people do you have inside of your company? Also, we have the prices, as you can see, like $8 for starter, $16 for business. And basically, if you're going to pay monthly, you will be charged uh, like 10 bucks and $20. Because if you're going to pay annually for like a year, we'll have these prices right up here. So we can save up to 20% um, because we are going to pay for a year. If you want to use Miro for a long time, more than a year, of course, it will be better for you to use like pack with like these prices here. And what's the differences? Um, on the starter plan, we'll have all the features from a pre-plan, but also we have a couple of additional features. Single workspace with unlimited boards, show off your work with high quality resolution board exports, one-click collaboration assets with unlimited visitors on public boards, share context and save the time with unlimited talk tracks to give interactive video walkthrough of your boards, easy find and share boards with unlimited project folders, create an exclusive space without group BS using private mode on sticky notes, recover lost content and content ver versions with board version history, have great meeting with built-in timer, voting uh, video chat, estimated app, and so some other features. And on the business, we'll have all the things with starter and also we'll be able to use unlimited private and secure workspaces with unlimited boards for every team and client. Securely collaborate outside your team with unlimited guests on private and team boards. 2000 plus advanced diagram shapes from these companies here planner, draw connection, and so on. So as for me, it's definitely worth to use starter because I don't want to use some features from business and I don't want to pay two times more. But as for you, I recommend you to try to use it for free firstly and after that decide which plan is the most suitable as for you. Hope this video helped you out. Leave a like, subscribe and goodbye guys. I wish you a very good day.